Hi, Sheila here. And right now I just finished eating this little popsicle. <laughs> and this very weird snack, it's, it's red. You can't see it. It's red. It's, yeah, with onion. And it was so-so. And this is what I have for my, as a drink. It's actually pomegranates. This one is the, like the healthy thingy, but it's not healthy next to sugary stuff and, and fat stuff. And that's my cheat meal. <laughs> Today that's my cheat meal. Uh, but there were times where I actually um, ate these things when I was just looking to have like something different <laughs> in my life, something exciting in my life. And that kind of reminded me of that. Um, today I was just going to do some like medical stuff and I did not have a lot of time, like for me. <clears throat> and in the meanwhile, I was sort of trying to shape up my, you know, WhatsApp group, my channel, data and whatnot, um, and record something for you. And I have something coming up. Uh, it's coming up tomorrow. I'm going to finish editing it today. And it is... It's for those of you who have been going through stuff that are similar to me. And that's for those of you who have been in a situation in your life where either like you had you had the money or you had the success and you had the achievements and you had the degrees and you had the honors. Um, but something inside was missing. And when trying to address that, you tried so many different things, and those things not only um, maybe led you, led you astray or didn't quite work out, worked out, but then caused damage, uh, but some of them maybe nearly kill you. And those things that were missing um, was a sense of connection that when you try to renew it, uh, you fell astray each time and things got messed up and you couldn't even tell what your desire is for fear that it will be used against you and memories began to creep up of cruelty. Uh, cruelty within you, cruelty within others, fear uh, not knowing how to love or be vulnerable in a way that won't put you in a risky situation again. Um, and then you may have tried things like to achieve at work or to make money or to eat weird stuff. <laughs> um, but you couldn't really have connections because and and sometimes there was even a need to hide the connection from you like the connection with you from you so that you won't spill it <laughs> uh, so that you won't get hurt in a way that you may even lose your own humanity or get so hurt that you want to hurt someone or yourself and that's a video for you i'm coming tomorrow uh, with actually part segments of my uh, own initiation that I've been going through without any any shamanic <laughs> healing to accompany me um, in the harsh parts of it and that was just so that um, in the past two weeks I had undergone um, dealing with both psychic attacks uh, where I was hospitalized but then like I had to help myself the pills was not, were not helping and then the result of the pills which nearly killed me I had sugar drops that nobody discovered 
because you can't just, you usually don't discover them on blood tests. You, your sugar levels are either a bit high but fine, and nobody makes any like no, nobody sees it. They just give you some liquids um, and send you back home. And so that was it. And. Um, I could nearly die like 200 times that <laughs> that week um, and it was n me and my guidance that's where I began to to receive my guidance and to learn how to connect with intuition in a way that I guess was available for me but I didn't know and I didn't know who or what to listen to should I listen to my body should I listen to my Voices? Should I listen to my reason? Should what's going on? How to get? How to make a good decision? Um, should I listen to energy? Like what? What to do? And and then it was like a speed up process of that what to do thingy, um, where I've learned to listen to my guidance and to heal from battling with my own fears in a way that is compassionate, that is tender. That's the special thing about it, that it's compassionate and tender. And to teach that. And so today I was um, smelling my essential oils again because there was a time where I couldn't even smell my essential oils. I couldn't even work with them. It was too strong for me. And I smelled uh, a blend called Inner Joy that I did. I don't even remember what was in it. And I felt that healing of cruelty. Healing of the fear from cruelty. Healing of the patterns that cruelty created. And the, the channeling that I got was that cruelty was a mistake of the creation. That the creation was curious about certain experiences that people may be curious like in kink or so um, but the souls did not choose that and so the, the creation tried to correct that but the, it, it could not reach people and it made up stories and myths uh, to try to correct that and it could not heal people and this is ages it's not an age um, and that that was a mistake and, and literally I felt like the creation was apologizing and offering medicine. Um, so that was a part of that, that morning initiation. And the notion that, that, that cruelty was the mistake of the creation, um, that it was not, there was no higher meaning to that. It's just a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. And the creation made a mistake, and the people created in, in the shape of that creation made a lot of mistakes trying to heal cruelty, uh, or made a lot of mistakes being cruel. And that now we are ha hearing about people who went through near death experiences and went through experiences where they see and they feel that the love is so much greater. And that's like the essence of the truth. But because of that mistake of cruelty, um, this experience was not accessible and is not accessible to many, many living creatures, both in between worlds and alive. And a part of, a part of what I'm being guided to do is to uh, make it more accessible. And that may be... And, and, and to try to reach the people that they can reach uh, with practical tools of how to make that ability to heal cruelty and heal from cruel, cruelty being done to you um, or cruelty that you've done uh, in a way that is as reachable as possible. And that's what tomorrow's, videos, tomorrow's video is about. It's a very practical... It's a very different vibe. Like I had a very different, I had a coach vibe <laughs> on that video because it is like a coach vibe, and that's what it's about. 
So if you have endured cruelty uh, or committed cruelty or both, uh, tomorrow's video is for you. So wait for tomorrow. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click the bell so you get the notifications. Um, share it with people who can benefit from that because I'm going to give practical tools with exercises that you need to do in order to proceed to the next video um, to practically heal cruelty in your life um, and cope with it. Um, this is practical initiation that I was that I had undergone in a way and that I am transmitting and through my guidance and it's all down to earth really step by step down to earth stuff um, that you want to watch if you had endured that so yeah I'll just wish you a good day and wait for tomorrow and watch tomorrow's videos and do the exercises and I am looking forward to hear from you bye bye have a great day.